I need to build a vapor blaster to clean this rare piston. So I'll start with the PSI rated tank from my slurry mix of microbeads and water. This version will be manually agitated, but you can also add pumps and things. The garage style ones are about to start. So I'm going to have an auxiliary pressure supply, and then I'm going to also, I'm also going to do a blow through modified gun nozzle. To convert this gun from narrow spray to wide blast, for the broad spray pipe I'm going to modify it by using tool putty to attach a blast shield. Then I'll secure everything together and seal it with assembly tape and green zip ties. Badass. So to clean this rare piston I'm going to use a small glass microbead mixed with water and I'm going to start this at about five sporks to one liter of water. Yeah, that looks like a nice slurry. I just need to scale this up for my large pressure tank. This should be large enough to blast the piston without having to refill. Just going to use the same ratio that I tested. Five sporks to one liter of water. Make sure the filter screen's clear before installing the pressure head. And tighten to two kilograms. It doesn't take long for the glass beads to sink in the slurry, but all you have to do is give it a good shake. It'll mix it up and suspend the beads in the water. And then fill the Schrader valve with blasting grade PSIs. 226. I'm also going to add some PSI rated external storage, and then I'm going to fill it with pressure to match my slurry tank. Okay, I've reinforced pressure fittings and the hose to the tank and I have pressurized slurry from the tank to the modified blasting gun. That's badass. With all this wet abrasive flying around you're going to need some proper eye protection, lung protection and I added these filters to keep the respirator dry. A full face shield, a blast shield and a good pair of gloves. I should have enough slurry left to blast the inside. Look at that beautiful peen satin luster finish. Vapor blasting is so badass I give it so this would work much better if you had somebody to shake the tank while you were blasting. So I'm going to check out a cabinet conversion that Matt did at How To Motorcycle Repairs YouTube channel. He's got a bunch of subscribers. Anyway, he has a bunch of videos, so I'm going to give him a call and see if I can check this thing. Hello? Hey, what's up? Who is this? Ichiban. Who is this? Ichiban Moto. I subscribed to you on YouTube. Oh, hey. How's it going? Yeah, everything's badass. Hey, can I come by and look at your vapor blaster setup? Yeah, you can come by like in uh, 45 minutes. I'm actually going to take a nap right now. Badass. I'll moto vlog on over there. Okay. Can you bring by some of those uh, carburetor tweaker kits? I'm running low. Oh yeah, I'm in stock on pretty much everything for the holidays. Alright, see ya. Stuck behind a Prius. That catamaran's still for sale. Sorry! So this vapor blasting, it has such a beautiful peen satin luster finish that's basically looks like a brand new die cast alloy part. It's something, if I didn't have a back order on custom bikes right now, I, I'd consider hiring somebody just to do vapor honing for me and maybe offer customers a nice thing. Okay, whoa, gravel. So that's why I always cut through here. And this is a, a long straightaway with just a bunch of abandoned businesses. So it's a good place to practice for years. Well, my helmet's loose. <laughs>
So if you look at this Honda engine cover, it has a lot of pitting where the clear, there's, there's a lot of oxidation. But vapor blasting uses water instead of just air, and each piece of abrasive is cushioned on water, so you get this very nice satin peen finish. And this is the device that does it, and this is the gentleman that invented this, uh, Matthew from HowToMotorcycleRepair.com. What's up, bitch? Ben, welcome to the shop. Hey, thanks. Thanks for having us here. So tell us about this. How long did this take you to build? Well, it took a couple months to figure out all the details, but it takes about 10 hours or so to build. But you can order your plans, download them, and you can build this from a complete parts list that includes all the tools required utilizing a simple sandblasting cabinet to come out with these beautiful finishes. Yep. So just in a, in a long day or over a weekend and a few bucks, you can take a a Harbor Freight sand blaster and convert it into an actual vapor blaster. Yeah, that's right. It's pretty simple actually. So can you show me how it works? Sure. Um, so you need a garden hose hookup. You need to plug it into a 110 outlet. Also, you need a big compressor. Then then you, sh you should be good to go. What type of media do you use in this? A uh, fine mesh glass bead, but you can use all kinds of abrasives and you can actually mix them together to get the finish that you're looking for. Okay, so for something like this, this motorcycle case cover that doesn't have a lot of deep oxidizing, but it, if it is pitted somewhat, do you start with a heavier, heavier grit and then go down, or would you recommend giving it a, a quick sand or file to clean it up before you blast it for the uniform clean surface? Eight minutes inside and out with the with the with that mix. Uh huh. Then I duct taped it off, I sw swapped out media, and then I did this side, which you can see is the next that's, step, and it's... That looks brand that's new. That's the uh, fine mesh glass bead, and it looks looks brand new. And it's quick. To go from here to here, mm -hmm. I mean, it's almost instant with the gun, because you're already 80, 90% of the way there, you know? Does it take to if you're doing one part like that cover, you just suffer through the fine media. Um, I think glass bead will take care of this. Um, it'll be a little slower than, say, an aluminum oxide glass bead mix. But, um, you know, if you had like 10 parts to do, you'd probably start off with a coarser media and then move to a finer. But since you're doing one part, the glass bead will probably take care of that, no problem. Wow. Awesome. So you just press the pedal and it turns on? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Put it in. Can you see in there? You're going to do... And then it triggers the control box to fire up the water wash, the wiper, and also the slurry pump. So it's all automated. So okay. Here we go. But if you get this very nice satin peen finish. This vapor blaster is so badass, I give it five out of five Ichiban Moto stickers. Badass. That's badass. Awesome, this is going on the wall, thanks. We'd like to present you from the International Certified Motorcycle Builders Association, a certified industry hero certificate to how to motorcycle repair. Nice. That's it, right? So okay. I gotta put it in my own frame, huh? Yes, you have to put it in your own oh, frame. Okay, all right, sounds good. Okay. Well, thanks for stopping by. Great, to, great to see you. Certified.